Hi everyone. Today we're going to be talking about um, a 2021 makeup trend. And you can let me know if you use this trend or not. If you don't, maybe you would like to start. So, um, I'm going to do pinks today because I've been doing a lot of peach and burn oranges and yellows like the sunset so today i'm going to use start out with pink and i'm going to use pink glow for my eyes this is a very subtle pink uh, that's what i'm kind of going for today is a more subtle look And this will show more pink uh, as it warms up on my eyes. But it's a beautiful uh, color. And, you know, you could use it as very neutral. Or you can dress it up and make it more prominent. But I'm just going to do kind of a neutral pink today. I love this color. I wear it a lot. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do my mascara. All week I've been doing the Extreme Curl, and I'm going to stick with that today. I, I love all our mascaras, and one week I'll use this one, next week I'll use a different one, but I love them all. And I'm going to stick with this one for this week. This has been a stressful week. My dad's in subacute therapy, trying to limber up his body, and he's been a little confused. He passed out. And he was sick. We just had him to the doctor. And so when we got him to the hospital, in the beginning, he couldn't walk. And he was real confused. So therapy's working with him. He's doing better. Um... But, you know, he's 91, and everything like that is a big trauma. So it's just going to take him a bit to come out of it. And so in the meantime, that's where me and my sister are, are taking turns. She goes one day, I go the next day. It's just, and neither one of us get anything accomplished, so... I may have to hire somebody to clean the apartment because the days I don't go, I have errands to run, groceries to get, you know, all the things that everybody has to do. So we'll see how it goes, and I'm sure everything will be fine. We just have to get him back up on his feet and get him going again, which, like I say, he is on his feet again a little he's not walking a marathon or anything but he's making progress so that's what counts the therapy where he's at is very good they're very patient very nice I don't think I could do that for a living. Well, I know I couldn't, but they get them in there and 
they have their day planned on what they're going to do, and they do it. I understand this morning in therapy, he wasn't with it too much, so they had to kind of work around that. But yesterday, he did a more strenuous therapy, so maybe that just wore him out too much. Plus, we've been having a lot of storms at night with lightning and stuff, and I think that's been keeping him awake. Plus, he's not in his bed, so all those things are a factor. Today, I, I used the BB cream, and I'm going to take a little bit, I should have done this before that, of this peach colored concealer down in this darkness here. Should have put that on before I put on my BB cream. In fact, I meant to use um, CC cream, not BB cream. Maybe that would work a little bit better. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. We all have those days, right? But I think that'll work okay. Does everyone have some good plans for the weekend? I don't know what the weather is supposed to be, but. Maybe it's going to be nice so everybody can get out. Okay, today for the 2021 trend, uh, I'm talking about blush. Do you know that you're supposed to put blush on, or the trend says, according to your face shape? So, I obviously have a square face. Now, one thing I can do is I can take some bronzer. And I can put it along the bottom here to kind of make this not look so square. And I can soften this area up here by putting a little up here. One side of my, this side of my face hangs down more than this side because I had surgery years ago and they went in under here into my mouth. So without having plastic surgery, I have kind of a walk crazy shape down here, but I'm okay with it. It's not that big an issue for me, so. Okay, so next we're going with the blush. Now, a lot of people put their blush on like this, or like 
up like this, or either they go straight across like this. For someone with a square face, they're supposed to put the blush right here in a circle, right here on these, in these cheeks right here. That is to draw the attention into here and not out here where the squareness is. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Taking my pink blush and it's going right here. That is where my blush is supposed to be according to the trend this year. And I agree with them. For my face shape, I think it brings the attention more into this area and not out here to the squareness. Now, I also can do something else. I can go back to the bronzer that I had and get a brush here that I want to use. I'll use this one, I don't know. And I can put a little bronzer right here. Now you see, that's not much. I didn't put much there, but you can see like there's a cut there. And you always take that up. You don't bring it down. And all you need is a little. So that's all I'm using. I'm just putting a little here and dragging it up. And you can see the difference here. Now I've got a cut here that breaks my face up. And I've put it under here and then bringing my blush in closer to my nose area. Now this is for square faces. Uh, bringing this in closer to my nose area uh, kind of makes the squareness not look so square. I hope you can see that difference. So now I'm going to do my lipstick and I'm staying through the pink, with the pinks, but I'm going a little darker. Um, I think this color is called Rosewood. So let's see what this does. This is pink. It may not look pink to you, but it's, and it's got um, a little bit of a orange. It's got some peach and some brown in it. Let me sure make sure that I picked out the right one. I gotta have some glasses on to do this. You know how it is when you get old. Yes, this is rosewood. So it's not as pink as um, a pink pink, but look how beautiful. It brings the, the pink in the eye out. It brings the cheek color out. I mean, what more could you want? It's just a beautiful look. Uh, the colors are beautiful. Um, and our makeup is fantastic. And it's 
at a very good uh, reasonable price. And one more thing that I'm going to do today is my brows. I like to put that gel up there on the brows and make them look more current, I guess is the word. It's the it's one of the trends for this year is uh, the getting your brows up there and so that's my look today I hope everyone liked it, it uh, I would like to hear if you uh, if you don't know what your face shape is send me a message and I'll be glad to tell you you know where the placement of your blush uh, the trend says it should be of course you can wear it anywhere you want to but I kind of think the trend works for me, really. I think all my focus now is more in here and not so much out here on the sh squareness of my face. So if I can help you in any way, send me a message, email me. I'll be glad to help you. And have a great weekend, everybody. Bye.